Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to cover a topic that came up in a recent tech support case on how to apply a contour flange from the end of a contour roll. So I'm going to show the model here. It's already done, and then I'll go back and apply it. But it's a pretty standard setup. There was a contour flange here. We did a contour roll from the end of that flange. And the user was having a little bit of trouble applying this contour flange here. So just to show you, it is possible. <laughs> so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this as well as the sketch. And we'll take a look at how we can apply a contour flange at the end. So the first step, I'm going to orbit my model. And I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch whoops, right at the end of that part. So I just like to do the left click on that surface. And then you have to project uh, what you want to utilize. So I recommend projecting an entire surface. I typically like to do the outer surface, but you could probably do either one. But I'm just going to project all the edges here. If it was really complicated, maybe I'd project the whole thing and then set some to construction, but it's not too complicated. So go ahead and grab that shape and finish my sketch. So not too crazy. And then to do the contour flange bit, we're going to do the, the contour flange tool here. We're going to choose our edge here, and we're like, awesome, now what? <laughs> so typically what happens when you do a contour flange, you're applying it to an edge of an existing part. So in the width extents area, there's the type dropdown, and instead of edge, you choose the distance. And that gets us back into what we're familiar with. So since the first one was two inches, we'll make this one two inches, but of course you can make it whatever you want. Um, I just double check it. Looks like it's going to join it the right way. Go ahead and hit OK. And voila, it's done. If you wanted to check it, and I already had the flat pattern built, that's a nice little tip. So if you do something that makes Inventor cranky, the flat pattern will tell you. But just to show you, we go to the flat pattern, it does flatten it out. So, like I said, relatively quick hitter today. That's how you can apply a contour flange from the end of a contour roll. Um, certainly not the first person to do this, but a lot of the videos are pretty old, so I thought maybe a spruced up interface would be helpful. Yeah, hopefully this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know and have a blessed day.